Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John and this is Timberborn. Okay, we are at the start of the drought. It's going to be a six day one. We're picking up basically from the uh, same place we left off last episode and we're in a pretty good place. I don't want to jinx anything obviously, but we're doing okay. So we've got this reservoir at the top here. Uh, this is up by the water source. We've got this blocked off with floodgates. We've got one pumping station at the top here. Uh, two down here in this reservoir. Uh, we have a third reservoir that we're finishing construction there, but we've managed to get it in uh, in time to stop the bad water uh, coming back and polluting all of this. Um, oh, there has been a, a uh, graphical tweak as well. They've, they've changed the colour of the bad water. It's no longer kind of glowing red and is now a much less appealing brown muddy mess so yeah that that's a thing they've done uh, they've also made some tweaks to some of the buildings and um uh production rates and things like that uh, over here we are still finished uh finishing off putting in our um second dam uh, i've put in to obviously clear all these trees and clear all of these um uh, dead bushes and what I was thinking was maybe using this as a uh, planting space for mangroves, which is an aquatic um, good. If we put ourselves a... I think we need a forester to plant them. So if at least temporarily we put in a forester in here and plant up two stands either side and then put in um, steps down this one, obviously, uh, but then put in gatherers where the... Um, Forrester was. Yeah, and maybe some storage as well. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, um, so we want steps coming down there, and we'll want... Um, yeah, let's start with that. So... For the moment, let's have a look. Where's our forester? We can put a forester in there. Uh, we don't have the beavers for it at the moment, but we do have five currently in the hauling post. So one can easily come out of there to work in that. Uh, and once the mangrove trees are planted, I'm going to demolish the forester and replace it with um, a storage warehouse. Uh, and then we can have the two gatherers posts over here. Yeah, that's the plan. Obviously, that's not going to get started until all of this is done. So, that's probably going to take a little while. So, I will... Hmm. What else do we want? We did also think about coming up here for power. Um, it would be easy enough to do. I've already spied out the route. Be straight up here. Uh, which would also get us onto this level for the metal. Which is probably something we want to do before we start messing around with... Um the bad water i think uh and again people have said that down here would be great for um a power setup as well because the bad water flows all of the time and it would give us a little bit of power all the time um which is very true uh the same goes for up here power wheels up here would provide all of the time except during a straight drought um because the water doesn't flow then and neither does the bad water so this just becomes a, a storage lagoon in times of drought. Um, I also, eventually, uh, want to come down here and put in another dam um, to create uh, yet another reservoir down here uh, and basically just stop this bad water from feeding back. And I'm trying to figure out the, a, a way of getting it off the map. Um, I, I really don't know really don't know. I, I toyed with the idea of just making a massive reservoir here for it um, and then using pumps to store it up and then dump it in a just a, a feed off of the map somewhere, maybe over here or something. But I don't know. Don't know. We'll have to have to have a long think about that. But in the meantime, I am going to spin on. I'm going to let the, the construction that's going on uh, complete. Uh, we'll get these mangroves set up as well, uh, and then I'll come back, uh, probably at the end of the drought. 
Okay, there's the end of the drought. Uh, still have 120 water, still have over 400 food. Still have over 120 uh, raw cassavas to cook, or to ferment rather. So yeah, all good there. Right, let's drop these down to 1.5. Uh, so as the water returns, that will fill up. Uh, we've completed our dam uh, down here. Uh, including the steps up here. I've removed the, the woodcutter from down here and I'm in the process of clearing out all of these dead bushes. Um, still in the process of putting in these um, platforms. Um, yeah, uh, we are running slightly low on beds. We've only got four beds left. Um, I'm probably going to put housing over this side next because um, we're starting to get some workers over here so that it would just make sense. Um, in fact, let's have a look. I mean, I could put some housing right in there, couldn't I? We only need one over here for the moment. So yeah, let's do that. Let's pop in a, uh, a bit of housing over here. Um, we will also pop in, where are we? A shrub. Just to, you know, Make it look nice. Um, other than that, I've not really done much. I've just been waiting for this uh, to get cleared. Um, we've cleared enough there so I can plant some mangroves in. Uh, where are we? There we go. So I want to plant up that. Uh, and over here, I'm going to do the same up to about there. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, why are we not building you? We are, we're just waiting. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Right, I'll spin on until that is done. Uh, and then we do need to start looking at power, I think. Okay, start of day three. Uh, the waters have returned. They returned pretty pretty quickly, to be honest. Um, partly because we're not taking a great deal of water out of here, so it flowed through fairly uh, soon. So all of this is now um, flooded. Um, the bad water is being pushed back this way again which is nice. Um, and we do need to think about power. So up here, obviously, uh, would be quite a good place for some power. Um, and down here would be quite a good place for some power. Now, down here, the water is uh, shallow. So we would only be able to get in um, standard, like, compact water wheels. Up here, the water is a little bit deeper. So we would be able to put in large water wheels, if we unlocked them, obviously, but we have the science for it. Um, now, the ideal place to put them would be along here, where we have trees. So that's on me. That's my bad. Um, I mean, we could build out that way, or we could just build up here um, and bring the power up with... High power shafts, which again, we can afford. Uh, that would involve putting some industry up here. Um, or we could put it down there and again with the high power shaft, bring it up into more industry here. And supplement the power that we're getting from these two wheels, because that's not enough for what we've got already. We, um, yeah. Yeah, we need 125 and we're producing 104. So that's probably the best starting point, isn't it? Okay. We've already got steps down here. Um, where is the best place for power? Probably putting some levees in there and there and stretching it across there, isn't it? No, nope, levees. Like so. Um, and then we are going to want... Platforms along there, because otherwise we're not going to be able to... Get to the... Uh, wheels as we put them in. Yes, that makes sense to me. In my brain that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you as well. Uh, we don't want to go in the water, obviously, because it's contaminated water. So we want that walkway along so that we can build out this way. Yes, that's that's my thinking. So, let us start with... 
a couple of wheels in there. Okay. And then we'll bring the power out and up there. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so what other industry are we going to want? Well, we're probably going to want a gear um, workshop fairly soon. Um, we might as well unlock that now, and we can put that in right there. Yeah, but we'll put that on a on a very low priority. Because we don't really want them wasting their time on that when they've still got all of this to do first. Um, and then, what's the next thing we're going to want? Oil press, possibly? That would mean planting up some different crops. Um, yeah, okay. Hmm. Don't have a lot of planting space available. No. This this is um, a problem. Going to have to start thinking about dynamite fairly soon. Um, okay, how are we doing? Planting? Yeah, yeah they're getting on with it, I suppose. Uh, Food-wise, we're still doing okay. Okay, yeah. I'm going to... What am I going to do? Um, I'm just going to have to let them get this constructed and then um, work out the power. Where's that going to go? That's going to go there and there. So we can get that in at least. Right, I'll spin on. Right, our power wheels down here are in. Um, our gear workshop is in. We are... Uh, waiting for um, gears to be able to make the um, uh, high power shafts here, but that's fine. What I want to do first is get in... Where are we? Um, food. We want... Nope. We want to unlock the oil press. And I want to put that in there. Like so. Um, we also need gears for that. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the fermenter for a while. Um, we're not doing so well for planks either. Um, I'll turn the gear workshop on for a little while. Uh, it's obviously going to be running at very, very um, low speeds. Uh, low efficiency, because it's not getting anywhere near the power it needs. But we'll get there. We just want to produce enough gears to make these high power shafts and um, this... Uh, oil press, and then we can connect this up to the power down here. Um, putting the pinch in the river here like this has caused some slight erratic flow. We haven't had any flooding, and hopefully we won't get any flooding, but even if we do, it's not too much of a problem because they shouldn't be coming down here apart from to build, really. Um, yeah, uh, up here... I have put in a farmhouse with just a little bit of um, canola to uh, to farm. I can now pause that again because we don't need the beavers working there whilst they uh, whilst the crops are just growing. There's only a little bit there, and I've put some storage in for canola seeds once that's grown. Um, nine days, so yeah, probably not going to go in before the next drought, which means if we get a bad tide, this is all going to die anyway. But yeah, what can you do? What can you do? Okay. Next up, I want to clear out some of this space as well, I think. Um, so I'm going to put in uh, a platform. Come on. And another lumberjack flag. And then we can set all of this here. Whoops. To cut. That's probably... Oh, it's got plenty more radius. Oh, that's fine. In which case, yeah, let's just... All of that. Get rid of all of that. Oops, I'm in a mountain. Yep, clear some space there, and we can use that land as well. Uh, and then later when we get um, either looking at pumping water or um, explosives, we can start to look at fertilizing this area back here. Either with just a trench, but it is a bit 
deep. Mm. We'll have to have a look at that. See what we can do. Um, how are we doing here? Oh, you're nearly... Let me get rid of the water for a second. You're nearly done. You've done all this side, and you're nearly done on that side. Okay, brilliant. Once you're done, we can shut you down uh, and replace you with uh, storage for mangrove fruits. Uh, and then we'll put in some gatherers down there. I've put in space for two. I'll start with one. We probably won't need to, but we'll see. Okay. Um, turn the water back on. Right. What are we on? Uh, end of day eight. Um... I'm thinking that we probably need more entertainment for them. Let's have a look. Double shower. That's only 50 science points. Yes, let's do that. And let's put those out this way. like that in this one because even if we do have an accident and this gets contaminated during a, a bad tide it won't get into this bit because the dams will um prevent the the flow in theory so they won't be showering in contaminated water okay i'll spin on to the start of the drought i think uh we'll see how our construction goes down here um how are we doing so far you have no gears uh, you have all of the stuff you need. You're waiting for a gear. Okay, so we've made one gear. Brilliant. I'll spin on. Okay, it's day 12 and we've just got the warning and it is going to be a bad tide, which means all of these crops, all of these trees are going to die. Um, these are just over halfway done um, and we've only got two days left, so these aren't going to be grown uh, in time. So they are all going to die, which is unfortunate. Um, but it's all the more imperative then that we get this cleared uh, and we can put down another farmhouse uh, and get some more crops on the go down here. Uh, up here, I have, for the moment, spun the um, power out this way to join in with the power wheels. Uh, so we are getting um, full power through the, um, through the grid. 270 odd, we need 195. Which means we can actually turn the fermenter back on, so that's fun. Um, this is more than halfway through the gears it needs. I did put in some storage for gears as well. Um, down here, our showers are in and being used. Our well-being is currently at nine, which is, you know, all right. Uh, I've taken out the um, forester here. Uh, the mangrove trees are starting to grow, um, so we're ten days off getting fruits from them um, so i'm going to hold out before putting in the uh, storage and the gatherer there um yeah i might put in another another woodcutter up here yes let's do that let's pop in another lumberjack in here to get rid of some of this and we will put in um let's pop in another small pile to store logs there okay yeah i'll spin on to the start of the bad tide then here it is only going to be three days uh, i do need to very quickly drop those down um because i've already closed off these um floodgates here and i don't want to flood everything before we even start um what i've done here is i've taken out the steps down and across because I don't want the bad tide coming up and um, covering up this walkway and all of our beavers walking through it. So yeah, I've replaced that with a, another strip of platforms um, to, to raise the path up out of the water. Uh, we still have um, obviously the showers down here so we can still get the wet fur bonus. Uh, over here, oops, that's just been completed. I'm going to pause that because we don't have the crops for it at the moment. Um, obviously, our power is going to be right down. Uh, because this flow is now only going to be uh, fed by the bad water. And currently, the bad water is busy 
flooding all of this. So, yeah. That's where we are. Um, I've obviously paused this. I guess we'll see how we do. Uh, we're doing okay clearing out this area here. Um, once we get a dam across down here, um, that will help keep that uh, a bit more hydrated as well, because it will raise the water level in here. Uh, and we can eventually use dynamite to just uh, drop all of this and give ourselves even more water storage. Yeah. All I can really do now is run on through the bad tide. Yeah, all of this is dying. All of this is getting um, infected. Um, this is lasting longer than I thought it would. I'm pretty sure it's going to go... Fair there we go, it's starting to go now. And it dies almost immediately, so... Oh well. Uh, I've also put in more storage up here. Um, for, for wood. So, after the bad tide, we're going to need to replant all of this. There we go, that's the end of the bad tide. Yep, yeah, we've done absolutely fine. We just need to wait for the water to come back and, and purify all of this again. Um... We've taken a little bit of water out of here. Um, should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, water down here has decreased a little bit as well. Um, I assume that's because we've got showers in it. And we, we might be taking water out of there to, to run through the shower. But that's fine. Uh, we've still got, what? Um, another four days before we get any fruits from these. So I'm not going to bother putting in the storage or anything yet. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, we're doing pretty well again clearing out all of this. Um, all of this is set up. Uh, I've taken out the additional um, power setup. Uh, what we're going to do eventually is put in a food factory here, I think. Um, yeah, that requires 120 horsepower. We absolutely weren't getting a great deal of power from this um, during the bad tide because the, the it just wasn't flowing enough. Um, and as you can see, these water wheels just stop the water flowing there and push it that way. So I think we should probably just, you know, fill that gap. Um, that will give us a little bit of power, not a huge amount. Um, hopefully it won't cause too much of a problem further upstream, but again, if it does, it's only going to flood up here, which isn't going to be a major problem. In theory. Um, how are we doing up here? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Uh, contamination is fading. Maybe. Certainly fading from this side. There we go. That's it. Okay, I'm going to unpause that one for the moment, uh, just to get them to, to replant this as quickly as possible. Uh, and I'll give it a few minutes just to make sure that all drains out as well. Yeah, okay. More power. Get this running. Um, for the food factory, let's have a look. Um, I'm, I'm lost now. We need 120 horsepower. We, we might get it from there. Uh, if not, we can always eventually open up the um, engine and put an engine over here and, and feed that into there as well. Um, but we need either aubergines or... Sorry, eggplant or uh, algae to make rations with the... Um, with the canola oil that we will eventually be producing. Yeah, okay. Um... Let's have a look. I mean, we could put in some aubergines along the edge there. Uh, and we could put a strip up there, couldn't we? I mean, we could get rid of some of these berries, but... I mean, we have a lot. If I put in more... No, no, I'm not going to get rid of the berries. Let's, let's stick with a um, couple of strips there, and then... Just fill that little area there. Um, we will put in storage for them. Where are we? Medium warehouse. There we go. And we need to... 
do that. There we go. And you are going to be storing eggplant. There we go. Right. Okay. Um, that's going to be a little while off, obviously. Uh, I'd like to see how the power does through here once we actually get some... Uh, once we get them all in. Oh, you know what? Let's... Let's flush this through. It shouldn't make too much of a a problem for us. Uh, it should go basically straight straight through, hopefully. It will impact the effectiveness of these a little bit, but that should be fine. Hopefully it's not going to contaminate anything here. There's not a lot there and it should be fairly watered down. Okay, I'll keep an eye on that. And I'll spin on. Okay, well, as you can see, that was not as harmless as I had hoped. It did kill off quite a few of our uh, mangrove trees there. So I'm going to put in a forester. Hmm. Won't reach. Yeah, we're going to have to put the forester in there. Um, and we're going to have to keep the forester in there. So I'm going to delete that platform and that platform. Uh, I'm going to plant mangroves in there. And over here, we'll put in our storage. And let's just get that built. And you are storing mangrove fruits. There we go. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. Never mind. Let's uh, prioritize our forest to get that um, going. Okay, I will... Hmm, what am I going to do? I'm going to spin on a little bit. Let's get some, um, some more power there. Do I need a dam across here? I might need a dam across here just to keep this pure so we can flush the bad water straight out. I'll have a think about that. Okay, I have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's the plan I'm going with. So, up here I'm putting in a little block of levees here, um, and some floodgates, so that we have a little pool of fresh water during the bad tides. Uh, and that will push the bad tides straight down there, and then when the uh, clean waters return, that should be easy enough to, to wait until the bad water is all gone that way and we can just uh, open up these floodgates and let the clean water through. Because that was a pain, getting all of those um, dead trees removed and then replanted. Yeah. That was a hassle that I don't want to have to deal with again. But we are building up a small stock of mangrove fruits. Um, they are being eaten quite quickly as you can imagine. Um, our stock of food is pretty good, up to nearly 700, or just over 700 now. Um, a lot of that is fermented cassavas. We still have 60 raw. Hmm. Tell you what, let's have you concentrate on the cassavas again, shall we? How are you doing? Um, you might be able to benefit from another farmhouse down here, mightn't you? Hmm, we'll have a look. How are we doing here? Oh, nearly done on that, so we'll need to open that up in a second. Yeah, okay, so, next up is going to be the um, uh, food factory, I think. Let's have a look. How much was that again? Uh, 300, we've got plenty. We've got nearly um, 500. Uh, but we don't have any um, steel beams for that, so we'd need the smelter um, and the wood, uh, the metal scavenger first. Okay, then. Well, let's start looking at that. Let's get some steps up. There, 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 and there to start with. Like so. Um... 
let's have a look. Metal Scavenger is 250. Well, we need it, so... Let's get it and put it in. Um, and realistically, we can just put some storage down here, can't we? Like this. Um, bring it round like that. Oops. Come on. Come on, John. There we go. Like that. And put the path in. And you are going to be storing scrap metal, please. Okay. Now, I was thinking about whether or not this should be a separate district. At the moment, it's not got a lot going for it, apart from this little strip of fertile land here. Um, there is scrap metal up and um, up here, and there is a mine up there. Not yet, I don't think. No, not yet. We're doing okay for food. Um, let's have a look. We haven't harvested any um, eggplant yet. What are we looking at? 75%. All right, so three quarters of the way there. That's not too bad. Um, oh, we can turn this on now and harvest our canola. Right, I will spin on until probably the start of the drought. Uh, we'll see how much of this we get done, and hopefully it is a drought and not a bad tide. Uh, but at least we will have some canola stored. Okay, and there is the drought. It's only going to be five days. We should be okay. Uh, this little uh, additional floodgate didn't quite get finished, but it's okay because it is a, a drought rather than a bad tide. So we don't need it, luckily. Um, up here I've put in some more storage for uh, canola because we needed it. Um, they've replanted this so I can pause the farmhouse. Um, everything else is going fine. Um, we have nearly finished the steps up here. Um, just need this last uh, lot to be completed and then we'll start collecting the scrap metal. I uh, haven't quite built this yet because I was focusing on um, getting this done. But that shouldn't be too long at all. Yeah, we're okay. We're doing okay. What I want to do... Let's have a look. No, I keep going in the wrong one. I do want to unlock the medium tank. Um, partly because we're going to want it to store water. But also because we're going to want it to store oil eventually. Um, yeah... Yeah, let's go for it. Yes. Um, so first of all, let's get some water storage in. Okay. Um, I've kept the gear workshop turned off because we, we don't really need gears. We've got 40 in stock, uh, which is that and that full. So there's no point in keeping it on at the moment. Obviously, we're going to be using gears to build the, uh, the, the tank, um, but that's fine. Um, how are we doing? Still waiting. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay. I think our next step is going to be... I mean, putting in a smelter is going to be the next step, really. But where do I want to do that? Do I want to set up power up here? And put our smelter up here, powered purely by the bad water? That's not a bad idea. That's not a terrible plan. I don't think, anyway. Um, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Steps up there. And we'll put a path up to... There. Okay. Let's have a look. Greatest flow is going to be there, isn't it? And then there. Okay, so in fact, let's lay those in. Pause it for a second. Lay those in like so. And we want 
that. So we can get rid of that bit of path. Nope. Like so. And we'll pop in a path like that. That should be fine. Yeah, that works. Uh, and then we'll obviously rearrange the path once we don't need it anymore. Good. Good, good, good. That should keep them out of trouble for a little while. I'll play through the drought and then we'll uh, call it an episode, I think. Day two of the drought. Brief update. Uh, I've taken out this wheel for the moment uh, and put in a platform so they can gain access to this little corner of land. Uh, and I'm hooking the power up this side instead because we're not going to be using this space for anything else. So I'm just going to um, put in a little junction there to hook the power up and then we only need to take power off of one side of here. Um, so we can just build our, our smelter wherever we want it, basically. Okay, back to the drought. I've played on a couple of days past uh, the end of the drought. We're on day three. Uh, we've got this little power set up complete, and it's providing us with 236 horsepower. Um, the smelter requires 200, so that is perfect. Uh, unfortunately, it also requires 300 science points. We don't have that yet. So that's, that's going to have to wait. Um, in other news, uh, I've put in some more housing over here. Uh, I've put in another medical bed down here. Uh, I've just turned on the oil press, so we're going to start producing uh, canola oil very soon. Um, up here, we've just got another harvest in by the looks of it. Or we are in the process of... Yeah. So we're in the process of, of waiting for this to... Um, um, be harvestable. What, what's the word? I have no idea. My brain has gone completely blank on that. Never mind. Um, I have shut down one of the gatherers over here. Uh, I'm wondering if it's actually worth switching it back on. Um, we don't have anyone available, but we do have people in the gatherers. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, what else? I don't know. Uh, obviously, we want to get the smelter in up here. Uh, I'm going to put it as far over to this edge as possible. Because uh, I don't really want them working in the contaminated area. Um, so I'll probably put it right on the edge here. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. Uh, and then I do want to come down and dam across here as well. So we'll have to figure out what to do there. Um, over here, I don't know. It, it's probably worth putting in another district, but we don't have the beavers for it yet. Um, no. Uh, but we are getting a fair supply of uh, eggplants. Uh, our food supply is doing really well. We've got 750 food in stock. Um, we've got a decent stock of planks. Uh, scrap metal is building up. Uh, I've turned the gear factory on, um, so we're producing gears again because we did use them all. Yeah, we're doing okay. And I think we'll leave it there for this episode. We survived another bad tide. That was good. I mean, we made a bit of a mistake with the uh, the remnants of it, and it did wipe out a whole bunch of our mangrove uh, plantation there. But lessons learned, eh? Uh, and hopefully this will prevent that next time round, because it should keep the bad water on this side, which means it will just flow straight out here. That's the plan. We'll we'll see if that works next time as well. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do give us a like and a subscribe um, if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more. Uh, please give us any comments down below and please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Timberborn. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe and bye-bye.